Do you have all sorts of tech, but it's just not linked? We got you covered right after this. Oh. Huawei was just starting to get back into America's good graces with the US leaders preparing to lift some of the restrictions on the company. But a couple of reports claiming that Huawei helped North Korea build a secret cellular network that made it easier for the government to spy on its citizens came out and now we're mad again. The Washington Post and 38 North published joint stories on the network, which was launched in 2008. <sighs> yes, Huawei helping an oppressive dictatorship is bad, but the real kicker is that Huawei may have used US made components in their networking equipment. Woof. That would mean Huawei was breaking American export laws and lying about it since the company used the codename A9 to refer to North Korea in some documents. No, no. Bad Huawei, stop it. Bad giant tech corporation. Don't lie, don't break international sanctions, no. Yeah, that should do it. You're sleeping outside tonight. Outside this jurisdiction. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the middling response that Asus's ROG phone got when it launched has apparently not discouraged the company from making a second one. A sequel nobody wanted, the ROG Phone 2. But that's because it uh, might just be the most powerful phone of all time? Woo! It's got a 6.6 .6 inch OLED display with 120 hertz refresh rate, Woo! the first of its kind in a phone. I'm, ex I'm ex so excited for this actually. Inside is 12 gigabytes of RAM, that's enough, 512 gigabytes of storage, and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus SoC, the new one, overclocked to 2.9 gigahertz and cooled by a 3D vapor chamber. <laughs> the air triggers return along with a whole lineup of accessories that you can use with the phone, including an extra cooler attachment, display docks, and Nintendo Switch style attachable controllers. <laughs> Why would I buy a Switch when I could just buy an ROG Phone 2? $900. Oh. And there's another phone getting people's hearts all a flutter, the Google Pixel 4, or leaked images of it at least. Ice Universe posted a picture of the Pixel 4 and 4XL's front panels, and while fans were disappointed that the phone appears to have, have a large bezel or forehead at the top, the design might be in service of something awesome. Gesture controls. <laughs> Rumors have pointed toward Google incorporating some form of Project Soli, which is the company's tech for detecting not just broad gestures like this, but also subtle finger gestures like this. Like turning an imaginary dial or flipping the bird. Go bird! <laughs> <laughs> Leakers are speculating that the wide opening on the top right of the display could house the Project Sony sensor array. Now I could say we'll have to wait until October when the Pixel 4 launches to get all the details, but uh, let's be honest, we're gonna get them way before that. Yeah, it's time for the quick bits. Brought to you by the Drop Control Keyboard. This baby has it all. It's constructed with a solid CNC aluminum frame with a built-in switch plate, making it stable and extremely durable. It's fully programmable with RGB lighting and QMK firmware with Cherry MX, Kaiwa, and Halo options for the key switches. Plus, it's incredibly lightweight at 964 grams with dual USB-C connectors. Right now, first-time users who sign up on drop.com can get $10 off, so pick it up today through the link below, Riley. Okay, all right. Quick bit, there would get me by ever since. <clears throat> Nvidia launched the RTX 2060 Super and 2070 Super earlier this month, and the 2080 Super is reportedly coming to join them tomorrow, so prepare your bodies. Pepper your Angus. Although the performance jump isn't expected to be that large at about 8% better on average than the vanilla 2080. But what am I complaining about? It's free performance at the same price point, right? That's good, Riley, right? Yeah, I think so. Origin, the custom PC maker, not the game store owned by EA, doesn't think that you should have to choose between PC and a console, or even between consoles. The company's stuck an Xbox One X, PS4 Pro, a Nintendo Switch, and a gaming PC all in the same chassis and called it the Big O. Unbox Therapy did a video on this chimeric creature and we have to admit, we're a little jealous. Mostly of their set though. They have a nice set. What is this, wood? <laughs> Speaking of the Switch, Nintendo is facing a class action lawsuit filed by owners of the console who claim that the joysticks on their Joy-Con controllers start drifting after a year or so, causing movement input when they're not being touched. When you're not touching those owners, they're still moving. That's crazy. Now, Nintendo hasn't officially responded yet, but I half expect them to reply with something like, hey, if your Joy-Con is broken from overuse, you should probably just take a break and go outside. It's a nice day out there. Go outside. 
Hey, we talk like this in Japan. Hey, and India went outside. Our atmosphere. The country's space research organization has successfully launched their GSLV Mark III rocket as part of the, not saying that, mission to explore the surface of the moon using a small rover. Good luck, India. Let us know if you see Elon Musk Tesla up there and bring it back down. Unnecessary space garbage. And Equifax has agreed to a settlement with US regulators concerning the massive data breach in 2017 that exposes many as 147 million people's personal information. Equifax will pay between 575 and 700 million dollars in fines and restitution, meaning each person could get. What? Four bucks? All right, that's quite enough of this. Don't hack anybody, but do come back on Wednesday for more tech news, the linkiest kind you can get. Mm. Tech news. What are you going to do on a Tuesday, though? That's not our problem. Literally nothing. You can be linked. Just sit and wait. You can be unlinked. Live your life.